Hello everybody, I'm Cody, Program Manager for Visual Studio for Mac here at Microsoft. Today, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Visual Studio for Mac by navigating and searching your projects. To do this, I'm going to use the Xamarin.iOS app. This app is a chat app which uses the Microsoft Bot Framework in Xamarin iOS. To get started, let's look at the project we have here. The first thing I want to show you is how to navigate through the project using your keyboard. One of my favorite features is the ability to move lines of code with option and arrows up and down. If I want to reorganize this, I can do it quickly without having to copy and paste. Let's move this declaration to the top, as well as this. And finally, this one. And why not move this one up as well? There we go, organized code without the use of a mouse. There's other things we can do too. Let's search the project and see if we can find what we're looking for. I want to find the bubble chat section, because I know that's a huge part of this project. So I'm going to search for the word bubble. All right, so let's search in solution. Here are all the different usages of the word bubble. Bubble factory, that sounds like a fun place. Let's go there. Double click on it, you get navigated to exactly where you want to be. So here we declare a new bubble factory. Okay, I see some uh, comments here that maybe I should uncomment. I can either, you know, copy and paste and move this around, or I can just right click on it, toggle line comments. You might have noticed that there was a shortcut there too. That would be command slash. You can also select multiple lines, command slash those as well. All right, let's see what else we can do with our keyboard. I'm going to search down here and go to the outgoing bubble image data. Here we see, again, where we declared our bubble factory and where we actually use it. This isn't too far away, but still demonstrates the technology. Let's right click on bubble factory and say go to declaration. Here it takes us up to where we declared it. On the obverse side, we can click on bubble factory and say find references. Here you search for all the different references where we used our bubble factory. Click on it to send your focus there. Another thing that we can look at is this messages.add. Now I don't know where this is, so let's again click on it and say go to declaration. Awesome, it's the thing that I named up here. All right, messages, not super descriptive. Let's right click on it and say rename. This will rename all instances of messages. Let's name it my message. All right, so now right click on it, say find references. And you can see all the different My Messages populated. I didn't have to do anything. Just all I had to do is right click, hit rename, and did it for me. It's pretty powerful. Another powerful search feature is the ability to find references to all overloads. Let's try that again here. So right click on My Messages, hit navigate, and find references to all overloads. Here again, we see all the references here. As you can see, there are many different search options within Navigate. You can also find derived symbols, base symbols, and extension methods. You can find a lot using this simple tool. All right, so that does it for searching. Let's see what else we have. Let's say I get really angry one day and totally mess up the format of this document. Everybody would be terribly mad if they checked this out and tried to see what the heck I was thinking. So let's see if we can fix this. Hop up to the Edit menu, choose Format, and sit Format Document. It also has a keyboard shortcut so you don't have to go through the menu. Let's click Format Document. Look at that. My anger is gone, project is fixed, and everybody's happy. I can now check this back in, and my coworkers will be my friends again. One issue when you have multiple people working on the same project is formats of variables. Let's say that my team wants to use all lowercase, but I don't. I'm going to give in and just go ahead and set this to all lowercase. I can do that by saying Edit, Format, Lowercase. There we go, goes down to lowercase. Same with this guy, edit, format, lowercase. I can also do the opposite, and I can make these shout at you. Exit, edit, format, uppercase. But that's terrible. Command Z, switch it back. In this video, I showed you how to get the most out of Visual Studio for Mac by navigating, searching, and editing your project. There's a bunch of technologies that I didn't have time to show, so please download it and give it a try for yourself. Thank you, and stay tuned for the next video in our series.